Hey people, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now I have the Samsung Galaxy S2 HD LT in my hands. Gonna run a few benchmark tests, show you the type of results this guy can put out out of the box. And it's basically an updated Samsung Galaxy S2. It features a larger 4.65 inch Super AMOLED display, not an AMOLED Plus, just a standard Super AMOLED. 720p resolution, so you get 720 by 1280 pixels. You get 4G LT connectivity and a faster 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. And with that processor right away, you can tell just doing some basic tasks, navigating across the home screen, it shows a good amount of fluidity, it tracks our finger pretty tightly, so barely any evidence of any lag or slowdown. Even some other operations such as uh, you know opening up applications, kinetic scrolling, uh, pinch zooming, again it shows that it maintains that nice fluidity, which again just makes it uh, very polished looking. So let's go ahead and just uh, test it out a little bit further. Let's uh, run some live wallpapers, show you the type of performance it's going to get. A little bit more processor intensive, you can tell. And right off the bat, already it's showing some evidence of sluggishness, a huge amount of delay as far as just navigating across the home screen, which it is an eyesore. Um, but again, you have to think that it is uh, running a uh, processor intensive live wallpaper in the background. Um, if we go back to just a static wallpaper, show you again, the performance is t 10 times better. Set that, and let's put the static wallpaper up. Once again, to show you the performance here, a lot better. Okay, so there we go. And right off the bat, a lot better uh, movement with our finger, tracks it so much better. So let's get started, let's run the first benchmark test here, um, we're going to run Quadrant. We've ran already, you can tell in our score here we managed to get 3213, uh, we managed to get easily 3500 on Quadrant, but we'll run this one more time here, just see what other numbers it can put up. Uh, but again, you could run the benchmark test. Benchmark test will always tell you some things, but not the whole thing. Ultimately, it comes down to just the user experience. Of course, live wallpapers just, uh, you know, test out the processing power of the handset. For static wallpaper, it's not a problem. It maintains that fluidity very nice. Uh, but again, there are people who are very, very uh, specific as to how they want their handset. So if it's live wallpaper you're going to ask for, you are going to expect, some, you're going to experience some sluggishness with its uh, movement. Now these graphical tests, pretty much uh, on part to other high-end devices like this one here, it's 30 frames per second, pretty smooth. It's going to finish up right here. Let's see what it produces. So this time we managed to get 3380, so a little bit better, but as we said, we managed to get easily 3500, and it easily blows away any of these single core devices out there in the market. It's not surprising at all, pretty much in line to other Galaxy S2 handsets we checked out, but it doesn't quite... Uh, you know, come off, come away as being you know a really processor intensive handset uh, when you compare it to the quad cores out there, such as the Ace Asus Transformer Prime. Let's uh, run the other test here. We ran the Antutu benchmark test. Let's uh, head back here. It gave it an overall score of six thousand five hundred seventy four. You could tell all the uh, results in the various categories. We put that up in the score chart, and the score chart puts it up there um, easily on par to uh, the Galaxy Note. It beats the Galaxy Note, Galaxy Nexus, and the Galaxy S2 uh, by just a little bit, not a whole lot, and compared to the Transformer Prime, it's still not nowhere close to the same league as the, as the uh, Transformer Prime, but overall, still a decent experience. Again, we just noticed those uh, you know sluggish movements uh, with the processor, uh, actually with the home screen, with the live wallpaper, which is, you know, usually nine, 10 times we see that in most handsets, but with a high-end device like this, we would expect a little bit better. But when you factor in 720p resolution, that could also impact uh, its performance. So we're going to test it out more, see how it runs in the end. And in the meantime, if you want to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy S2 HD LTE, you can check out our website, guys, phonearena.com. This is John V. As always, thanks for watching.